Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're having pizza, homemade pizza, homemade pizza crust, homemade pizza sauce. So this recipe is, I watch a channel called Martin Midlife Misadventures, and she is doing a series called Flowered Up Friday. So it's Friday, let's flower it up. So go over there and check out their channel. Um, they do a lot of homesteading and homemade cooking and gardening and prepping and things like that. They live in an RV like me. So, um, I wanted to do this recipe. It looks so good that crust, um, on that pizza when she pulled it out of the oven was, oh, it just looks so good. It, she did a stuffed pizza crust with, um, cheese sticks. I don't have any cheese sticks, but I I do have some cube cheese, so my mouth's watering. So I'm going to uh, put some cheese into the crust, kind of like she did. I can't wait to get some mozzarella cheese sticks and do that with, but I don't have any. I'm not going to the store. It's about 15 miles from here, so I'm just going to do, do with what I have. I also don't think I have any basil or recipe for the spaghetti. It's not spaghetti sauce. Pizza sauce calls for basil and oregano. I have oregano, but I also have Italian seasoning, so we'll see what I use. Probably just the Ital Italian seasoning. But um, very cheap, very cheap and frugal sauce. So anyway, homemade with flour and yeast. Yeah, so we're doing the whole nine yards today. So it's floured up Friday. Okay, let's go over the ingredients. You're going to need two cups of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon and a half of uh, instant yeast. I bought this. Y'all remember when you couldn't buy flour and you couldn't buy yeast? I bought this on Amazon the minute it came available back in the day. And so I've had it just stored. So I'm going to start using it. It's time to use it and start using it up. So I'm very excited about this recipe. It looks so good. The dough looks so good. So I'm going to start making my own pizza crust. What did I say? One and a half teaspoons. Not sure if what I said. One and a half teaspoons of instant yeast. A half of teaspoon of salt. Two tablespoons of oil. I'm using olive oil, which... Um, was suggested and a two-thirds cup of water warm water I got a little hot so I want it to cool down in a little bit because I don't want to kill the yeast and of course here's my flour and my sugar two tablespoons of sugar so let's um, wait for the water to cool down a little bit and then we will start making us some pizza crust so that's two thirds cup of water, two tablespoons of sugar. And one and a half teaspoons of the yeast. Being precise in a half. Stir that up. Okay, two cups of flour. And she doesn't sift it or anything. The only thing she does is wipe off the top. Which, see that right there. Oop, we got a little bit. Anyway, two cups. There's one. That's how you level it. Not packed. It's not sifted. It's just a level. One cup of a teaspoon of salt, add it to the flour. Okay, 
Okay, we're going to add the yeast sugar water. Yeast sugar water. Make a little well into the batter or into the flour. And stir. And about this point, we're going to add the oil. Two tablespoons of oil. And this is when I'm going to start getting my hands dirty. And of course, I washed my hands before I started cooking. So. She said, knead for about three minutes. We're going to cover it and let it, we're going to wait until it doubles in size and we'll come back and we'll make a pizza. So I'm going to put the yeast in a small snack bag, they're square snack bags now, and I'm not going to zip it all the way up because I'm going to put it in a Ziploc or a uh, vacuum seal bag. When I lived in my sticks and bricks, I had a food saver and I vacuum sealed uh, all my meats and things that I wanted to preserve for a long time. And of course, I didn't bring that on the road with me because it's big and bulky, but now they have these little handheld vacuum sealers rechargeable isn't that awesome so i'm going to vacuum seal this you just it sucks all the air out of it that's why i left that little bit of that bag open there you go now it's a brick again <laughs> and then when i need it i'll open it up open this bag use it and then re-vacuum seal it again and I really like these re reusable ones because of this instance right here. I don't have to throw the bag away and then reseal it with the machine. And so, pretty cool. Okay, while the pizza dough was rising, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the pizza sauce. One, what is this, six ounce can of tomato paste. See, this is cheap. It's tomato paste and spices. That's it. And let me show you the spices we have. And I'll put the recipe down below. So garlic powder, sugar, onion powder. I did not have any basil, so this is Italian seasoning. I'm going to buy basil next time and try that too. With some fresh basil too. Min minced onion and salt. This is Himalayan pink salt, red pepper flakes, and black pepper. And so we're going to open up the paste, put it in a bowl, add the seasonings, and add a little bit of hot water and mix to thin. And then we have pizza sauce. And then we'll check on the dough. And 
And with the spices. Yeah. Half a cup of hot water. I'm going to stir it up before I add all of it. Just to make sure that it, I don't want to do it too thin. If I do it too thin, then we're in trouble. Yep. That looks wonderful. Mmm. Mmm. I like the sweetness. That's good. That's gonna be good on some pizza. So I said <clears throat> I am going with what I have on hand. I have Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. I think I have a little bit of mozzarella that I'm gonna use. But I gotta get this grated up first. And they've been in the freezer. So I pulled them out of the freezer because I was going to make some pizza. This is interesting. This block I took out this morning because I thought I'm going to need more cheese. It's still kind of frozen. <laughs> so the interesting thing is when you grate it, it just kind of comes off in clumps. I've never grated frozen cheese. So it really doesn't matter. It's kind of easier than grating. But I thought, oh, it'll be easier to grate frozen cheese. But see how it's kind of falling? Just flaking? I kind of like that. It's easier to... Look at it just kind of crumble. It's like it's made in sheets. Look at that. <laughs> I like that. Very interesting. Hmm. Huh. Or you can kind of crumble it up in the package and it's already created. Look at that. That is so cool. I am going to let it finish thawing out though. I don't want water in my pizza. So that's how you can grate cheese real fast. Very interesting. Done. So I'm going to put this, oops, that was a little thin, in the crust. Let's check our pizza dough. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Okay, my counter down here is already clean. I cleaned that before I even started because I knew I'd get to this point and be like, oh, I need to clean my counter. And my little rolling pin. I got a bigger rolling pin than the last one I had, thanks to Susan. And look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice dough. See some little places that didn't get mixed in really good. But this is my first time, so like right in here. I've done pizza doughs from the store before. I can never get them round. I can just, oh, this one's looking pretty good. Let me get Round and round. Look at that. That's pretty round. Pretty good, I think. Now I need to put it on the pizza pan. Okay. So I'm going to transfer this over to the pan. Oh, 
Voila, I did. I did it. That was almost a circle pizza. Look at that. That is awesome. All right. bit of leftover mozzarella I'm gonna use and this is just gonna be a cheese and pepperoni pizza I've had pepperoni in the freezer pulled it out today double pepperoni and the self-grated cheese Good. Oh, yeah. Still want the crust to brown a little bit. I may need to put it on the bottom. That looks good, doesn't it? It's sizzling. Sizzling. Look at the crust. The crust is stuffed cheese crust. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I think it's perfect. Let's... Sammy says it's perfect. Is it? Is it perfect? Okay, I've been cooking. I got the air conditioner on. Hopefully you can hear it because it's hot outside. Air conditioner's on. It's hot. Good. It's very good. Paper, that looks just like a don't say you get at pizzeria. That's because it is pizzeria. Hergel's pizzeria. Well, not mine. Why? Because I got it. Oh, don't eat with your mouth. I mean, no, not you, me. I'm over here talking with my mouth full. <laughs> Uh -uh. <laughs> I got it from Martin Midlife Misadventures. Well, thank you. I know. It's mm -hmm. awesome. We will definitely... No. Two thumbs up. Cook this from now on. Not buying any pizza crust or... The uh hot -huh. Huh? The uh hot -huh. uh -huh. I was supposed to wait before I cut it, and I do. That's really good. And the pizza sauce is made out of like a 60 cent can of tomato paste and spices. That's it. It's a $60 pizza. Mm hmm. Mm. That's good. All right. I'm you should show them your late view. I know. I'm going to look at the cactus view. The, um, I'll leave the link to their video in the description below. Go check it out. It's really, really good. Mm -hmm. Want to see the late view? Mm -hmm.